guys welcome back to another video with our 96 OBS today we're gonna to be doing our very first interior modification which I'm extremely excited for because I've done this on several different trucks and I've always really enjoyed it but I know I'm gonna do it especially on this because if you don't know we got this huge yellow um, duct tape covering a tear in our seat and it just looks absolutely terrible so let's go ahead back here open up the barn doors hopefully our entire new seat covers and i say entire new entire set of seat covers because i ordered them from realtruck.com uh they were right at 480 bucks which is definitely not cheap but these were not the sportsman camo seat covers that i typically get which i know are super high quality but for the price i'm expecting these to be super high quality we'll have to see however i did get front and rear and this is a relatively small box Hopefully they didn't ship them separately and I haven't got the rear set in yet. Let's unbox these bad boys, and get them installed. So here's our seat covers, front and rear. And I know you're already commenting saying, dude, you run the same pattern camouflage on everything. And that's where you're wrong because I typically run Realtree Max 5. And this is Mossy Oak Blades, which is essentially the same thing, just made by a different company. But it does look a little bit different. And I absolutely love this pattern. I don't care if I run it on everything. I'm going to continue to run it on everything. I just enjoy it a lot. But like I said, here's our front ones. Um, got armrest, headrest, and then obviously two front seats. We have a center console right there. Oh, yeah. We're going to be covering that baby up right there. It's going to look so much better and then on the rear we have the 60 40 split bench with the center cup holder thing and then headrest as well i'm stoked on it y'all know i typically run these sportsman camo seat covers uh, i swear by them i've always really really enjoyed them but they are custom seat covers and they take a long time to come in and obviously denim being our one month hopefully project truck it's not going to happen we're going to have to keep it longer because all my parts didn't come in uh, i couldn't wait a couple months for those to come in so i went googling and i found these babies Northwest seat covers on realtruck.com and uh, they seem pretty freaking high quality. I'll, once we get them installed, give y'all the full reveal, reveal, review this or sportsman camo. I'll let you know. Either way, let's throw them in. Hopefully they fit good. So the instructions say that it's supposed to have a tag that tells you driver or passenger side, but I am not seeing that. But the good news is apparently it is machine wash friendly. However, I think I figured it out. So one side has this uh, Velcro and it is a little bit longer. I believe that is what goes on the outside of your seat. So just line it up to where the Velcro is on the outside. Uh, we already do have to deduct a couple points because this does not have a cutout for your seat controls, which is always really annoying when seat cover companies do that because we don't want to have to be fighting to find our controls. It's uh, looking pretty promising. No. The straps we're gonna run underneath the seat. It's got little clips on the front. We'll clip it in, tighten it down real tight. Ooh, that's looking pretty good. I ain't gonna lie, that's looking pretty good. Now your top portion is pretty easy to figure out because you've only got an armrest on one side. So let's slip that baby on. Yeah, she gonna be snug. And it does come with um, a little back pocket, like a newer truck, whereas on these you just have the, you know, mesh net back here. So that's a nice little upgrade. Gosh, no. This portion, push that through as well. I haven't gotten in the back of this truck yet. No, now, possibly another negative. You have to cut your own hole out for the headrest. So it says due to the complexity of the design, I don't know, I, I guess that does leave it up to you to either mess it up or make it perfect, but uh, yeah, we gotta apparently cut holes for the headrest. Armrest just slips over. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything strapped down. That way we know exactly that we're in the right place. So then we can cut our hole for 
our headrest. So I figured the little overlap part is what goes on the rear, but I guess we'll see. Yes, sir. Now for kind of the scary part, We've got some scissors, and I guess I'm just gonna fill the hole right there and pop a hole in it. So, yeah, it says in the instructions, this does not void your warranty. You retain your warranty. Let's hope I lined these up properly. At least we got a blade cut test. You definitely have to stab into them pretty good to get it to, to rip your sheet covers. Come on now. Now the material is going to poke in the hole and it's not going to let the metal go down. Is that how this is going to work? There we go. Well, I guess the pros to that is <laughs> you can't get any more custom fit than the hole you po poke in it right there. Dude, that's her. Now the moment we all been waiting for, covering this freaking yellow duct tape up. Bada bing, bada boom. I just want to publicly admit I am an absolute goofball because y'all know since I bought this thing, I've been complaining about not being able to lean my seat forward, that I was all leaned back and it was uncomfortable and whatnot because I've been fiddling with the electronic controls on the side and one of them didn't seem to be working. I didn't notice it doing anything. And so I figured that was the back not leaning up. Well, if I had taken two seconds to see, I would have saw the lever right here, which actually lets it up and down. So. Uh, yeah, I, I can't believe I did not see that, but thankfully now I can adjust my seat up and not be leaning back all the time. Time for the rear seats. Let's go ahead, hook it around here. Get up in here. Hook that. Seat belt buckles go through this hole. Push those through. Yes. There's our little thing to lift the seat up. Let's go ahead and just pop that. It does have a little cutout for that to come through which is nice ow all right so it's got little covers on the velcro i'm assuming we just take that off and then this just velcros tight on the bottom of the seat which is pretty nice and convenient all right let's start with the back in a big sounds like power stroke all right let's see oh baby that looks freaking good Gotta pull over because that latch can't be covered up by this. Because then it will not strap down. So that's a little interesting. Let's see if we can get it to line up. Hopefully clear enough. Oh, 
that. We're good with that. I need to get in there and vacuum. Oh, baby. All right, so thankfully on these back pieces, they do have holes cut out for the headrest. Passenger rear over. That's a snug fit. That's real snug. <laughs> Velcro cover and it'll all rip off, right? Perfect. So our covers on our headrest. Piece of the puzzle. We are done. Let's go ahead, get the truck out, check it out. Now that we've installed them and ran our b-roll let's actually go and look a little more in depth and i'm gonna give you all my first like review of them i guess so for starters i freaking love them i am absolutely tickled with it turned out amazing i think it looks super good i know it's not gonna be everybody's cup of tea it never is but with that said i'm loving it i think it looks killer now i guess let's go to the critiquing part because honestly I feel like I always am jumping into, oh, this is not quite good enough. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I like to let y'all know if you're going to spend $500 exactly what you're getting. So um, I feel like the front seats don't quit, don't quite fit as good as the back. The back seats fit really, really good. It's all held down with Velcro onto the underneath of the seats. Now the front, if I'm being brutally honest, maybe like a seven out of 10, maybe the rear seats probably like an eight, 8.5 out of 10. As far as fitment so up front the two complaints that i honestly have one the armrest as you can see, tell they don't quite cover up enough and they're slippy so i feel like they could have put this material all the way down and uh covered up all of this as well as it probably would have held on better if it was just stretchy but also tighter more connected um obviously as you can tell from the outside view it looks great but from the inside now that's very critiquing Obviously, you're probably going to be the only one to notice that, but that's worth mentioning. Um, headrest fit pretty daggum good. I mean, there's a little looseness to them, but overall, nice. Uh, back seat, pretty daggum good. Obviously, the little airy right there, it'll break in as you wear it. Wear it, sit in it. 
Uh, major, major win. I think this is a huge upgrade over the nets. Having a little pouch like newer trucks. Love that. That is awesome. Let's be honest, the little nets, they did nothing but get in the way. Um, so that's freaking awesome. Now, the biggest negative on the front seats, and I already detached it over here to show y'all, is these corner mounts. So you got Velcro here to pull the bottom of the front back, and then you got a tiny little piece of Velcro here, which you're supposed to pull, and strap those together. Well, this piece right here is not large enough. You'll pull this past here to where there's no Velcro, and then you can't strap it down tight, or you just do it like that, and it's loose, obviously tighter than that. I only have one hand. Um, so that's the biggest thing that did not really fit that great. Now, does that ruin it for me? No, of course not. But it's definitely worth mentioning. If they'd have just put some more Velcro, you could definitely could have tightened that up and it looked a lot better. You'll probably be the only person to notice it, but it is worth mentioning, like I said. Now, as far as the bottom goes, you do get some points deducted because you have all of your buttons covered up now. I don't know why they couldn't have just had a little hole here and a little thing for your lever, and it would have looked a lot better in my opinion, but everything else fits good. You can still get to the buttons. You'll just have to feel them. You can still do your recliner. Uh, you're just gonna have to you know, tug on it, whatever the case. It could have been done a little bit better, but it does look good. It's nice and clean, whatever. So now we go to the back. The back is pretty freaking good. I'm really happy with it. Um, fit and finish. Obviously your holes are cut out nice. That tucks in behind it good. Um, the bottom, you just Velcro underneath like y'all saw. It's nice and tight, looks amazing. Same for the rear. Uh, from the back, you really only see a tiny little bit, which does not matter, but I guess I'll just show you anyways. You just see a little bit of the seat right there. No big deal, doesn't matter, who cares? Other than, you know, just having to finagle with some of these straps underneath and uh, basically that's it. That was really the only annoying part was just getting my arm underneath here for one reason, because I didn't know. I guess this is factory. Uh, we have a six disc player in here under the passenger seat so dang you know denim freaking baller spec back in the day larry's got them too they're actually in the back seat beside the rear quarter where the door doesn't open and larry so man just 96 97 balling i'm telling you we went back 30 years and be rocking but <laughs> i'm gonna quit rambling hopefully you did enjoy if you like them you like them if you don't you don't but definitely comment down below and let me know either way i'll have a link to them in the description because it honestly did take me a while to track these down and i'll, I'll hook y'all up y'all check the description i'll have it down there pick up a set if you want with that said hopefully you did enjoy i'll see y'all in the next one